There is tremendous chaos in the grocery industry, and stores have faced enormous challenges in recent years. American supermarkets are facing labor shortages, products that are never available again, takeovers, reorganizations, delivery problems, and gigantic debts. This trend has only just begun, and this is not without consequences. In fact, the first effects are already visible in huge price increases of up to 200%, and it seems that this carnage has only just begun. Which products will soon be unaffordable? And where will you be able to shop affordably? We'll let you know in this video. In a groundbreaking report released by the esteemed grocery market data collection company, Greenbook, it has come to light that food prices at Aldi stores are surging at an alarming rate surpassing even those of other prominent retailers. This marks the second consecutive year that Aldi has witnessed the most significant price hikes in the entire industry. Prepare to be astounded as we unveil the specific items that have experienced mind-boggling price increases, some soaring by an unimaginable 200% since the pandemic struck. But that's not all. Our investigation delves deeper, gathering invaluable data from customer feedback and expert analysis to expose a surprising truth. Contrary to popular belief, certain products that shoppers assume to be cheaper at Aldi are, in fact, not. The revelations we're about to share will leave you flabbergasted and prompt you to reconsider your purchasing decisions. With so much ground to cover, we kindly request your support by smashing that thumbs up button and subscribing to our channel. Get ready to embark on an eye-opening journey. While it appears that overall inflation may be tapering off slightly, food prices are spiraling out of control. Despite being known as a discount grocer, even Aldi is burdening its customers with shocking price increases. Green Book's recent analysis of grocery prices at major U.S. retailers in March revealed that Aldi reported a staggering 26.7% grocery price inflation, slightly higher than the 23.4% recorded a year ago. To put things into perspective, this is a substantial 9.6% higher than the average inflation rate reported by other retailers such as Publix, Target, and Costco, who reported a 17.1% surge. Astonishingly, this is the second consecutive year that Aldi's prices have outpaced its rivals. Rising grocery bills have burdened American consumers for the past year, causing significant financial concerns. Research shows that grocery price inflation is the second most pressing worry after job layoffs. Around two-thirds of people are deeply worried about food and drink prices, leading to increased financial strain. The number of individuals reporting financial difficulties has risen to two-thirds, a significant increase from 51% last year. Failing to adjust grocery shopping strategies could result in households facing an alarming average annual bill increase of $1,811. Unsurprisingly, as Aldi's brand products remain 19.7% higher than their 2019 prices, the escalating costs are hitting consumers hard. Green Book's analysis of more than 25,000 food and drink products reveals that name brand items have surged by an average of 21.6% in price. Despite these skyrocketing prices, Aldi has managed to achieve an 8.8% increase in sales at its discount grocery stores in March. Moreover, Aldi's market share has continued to grow, reaching an impressive 9.7% over the past year. However, this does not imply that consumers are content with the grocer's latest price hikes and the declining quality of its products. Aldi's recent price increases have affected a range of staple products, including cornflakes, mozzarella, Marie frozen strawberries, soda, oatmeal, fish sticks, protein bars, and energy drinks. Astonishingly, these items have more than doubled in price at Aldi stores. Understandably, consumers are not taking these price surges lying down. In fact, Reddit has been buzzing with discussions about the 200% jump in Aldi's egg prices. One post showcases a photo of large-grade eggs priced at a staggering $3.69 per dozen. The top comment expresses disbelief, suggesting that it would be wiser to pay the extra dollar and a quarter for the premium version. Some even claim that organic eggs are currently priced the same as non-organic eggs. This surge in prices is not limited to eggs. Everyday essentials have seen prices more than double over the past year, with name-brand items taking a particularly hard hit. Disgruntled customers have taken to social media platforms to voice their frustrations. 
One loyal customer shared a shopping experience where their cart contained only eight items, yet the grocery bill amounted to a shocking $45. People are feeling priced out of their lives and are pointing fingers at Aldi's inflated prices, comparing them to other stores. The sentiment is that Aldi is becoming more expensive and taking advantage of the current inflation. Furthermore, customers are noticing a decline in the quality of Aldi's products. They're experiencing disappointing purchases, such as mixed nuts, pistachios, peanuts, and even minced chicken that is floating in water upon defrosting. Many are questioning what has happened to Aldi as the reduction in quality appears to be happening across the board. The deterioration in quality is disheartening for shoppers who used to rely on Aldi for affordable options. Another issue that customers are facing is the scarcity of products on Aldi's shelves. Shoppers are finding it difficult to find certain items, often needing to be there within the first hour of trading to secure what they need. This scarcity is likely a consequence of tough times leading people to seek cheaper options, overwhelming Aldi's stock levels. Interestingly, a recent analysis by savings expert Lauren Kreutman reveals that some products people believe are cheaper at Aldi are actually not. For instance, name brand cereals can cost over $3 per box, making them more expensive than at traditional grocery stores, even during sales. The limited selection of retailers' brands is also a drawback. Similarly, while berries may have a lower price at Aldi, their quality is subpar, leading to wastage. Kreutman suggests opting for larger grocery stores or local farmers' markets for better quality produce. Toiletries like hair care items, deodorants, and dental products can also be pricier at Aldi compared to larger grocery stores. These items are predominantly name-brand products that rarely see discounts at Aldi. The advice is to wait for sales at other retailers to save money on these items. Chips from Aldi's own brand, Simply Nature, may not be the best deal either. Customers have noticed that the bags are often only filled halfway, making them more expensive per ounce. Traditional name brands, on the other hand, are frequently on sale at comparable prices in other stores. Additionally, they don't match the quality of traditional name brands, which are often on sale for similar prices at other stores. Switching from a name brand like Boar's Head to Aldi's own brand of lunch meats, such as turkey and ham, may not save you much money. Furthermore, the quality difference is noticeable. Though the prices of these lunch meats are similar to name brands, they don't taste as good. Aldi also offers its own line of soda, which is more affordable than name brands. However, according to experts, it doesn't compare in taste to popular brands like Coke or Pepsi. If you decide to add name brand soda to your cart, you'll likely end up paying more than you would at other stores. Many grocery stores heavily discount soda in the summer months, and coupons for name brands are easy to find. Aldi faces financial challenges with heavy losses due to rising costs. Store closures and canceled projects are a result. Despite strong sales growth, the company had a negative operating margin of 1.4%. Like in 2022, Aldi closed locations without much notice, citing reasons such as burglaries and declining sales. Multiple closures occurred in Chicago, New York, and New Jersey. California and Memphis also experienced closures due to low sales, higher expenses, burglaries, property damage, and poor performance. Aldi may close at Saranac Lake New York grocery shop. The grocery market is deteriorating, impacting average U.S. consumers. As consumers, we rely heavily on grocery stores to supply us with the food and products we need. Unfortunately, the current economic climate has been tough on businesses, particularly mom and pop shops. Lucky's Market, a regional national foods chain, is currently bidding farewell due to a significant drop in sales and financial difficulties. Despite offering wide selections of affordable food staples, the company had to file for bankruptcy and close 80% of its stores, leaving only six locations open. Similarly, Stop & Shop announced the permanent closure of several underperforming stores, despite opposition from customers. As more grocery stores face financial difficulties, buyers are left with fewer alternatives and may become more vulnerable to sudden price hikes. The signs are all around us, signaling a shift in the grocery landscape that demands our attention. From skyrocketing prices and declining quality to store closures and financial challenges faced by major retailers like Aldi, the average consumer is left to grapple with the consequences.
While there is no single explanation for why food prices continue to rise, it is important for us to adjust our budgets accordingly. Thank you for watching.